Tonight, some residents in Westlaco are frustrated because they can't access their physical mail. They say even though they have their mailboxes in front of their homes, the United States Postal Service does not pass through that part of the neighborhood. One resident called Five on Your Side in hopes to address the problem. Moving into a home in a newly built Westlaco neighborhood was a joyous moment for Mario Cano until... I found out from the post office here in Westlaco that they're not going to include the route to receive the mail here. He says the only mail he gets directly to his home is from Amazon. The electricity bills, the water bills, information that you know comes from Social Security, where they send you a statement every year, things that you normally receive in your mail, we're not receiving it. We have to pick it up at the post office. This issue affects more than 25 families in that neighborhood. Those families want a common mailbox, but so far, they haven't had any luck getting that solution. The city of Westlaco did issue a statement about this. They say they've been talking to residents to see if there's any way the city can help resolve this issue. They also mentioned they're considering an ordinance that will require new developers to plan for a dedicated group mailbox space for residents in future subdivisions. We reached out to the contractors about this and they say they had no idea that this would be an issue for residents. We were never ever told about that. There was no requirement that subdivision is on file with the county. It's a legal subdivision. The contractors built in custom mailboxes in front of the homes, but they aren't in use. Something Kano says was a waste of money. Another neighbor wonders why people on the next street over gets their mail with no problem. So how is it that we can't receive mail when the post office carrier still comes this way to go to the next street over? So it's just because we're in the middle, we don't receive no mail, but everybody else does. So, I mean, how is that fair to us? We attempted to contact the U.S. Postal Service in Westlaco. The director told us he wasn't authorized to speak to the press, but gave us a phone number to request information, which after several calls, we didn't get an answer.